A change in other prices causes the demand curve to shift. If a demand curve measures the effects of price changes when all the factors that affect demand are held constant, how can we use demand curves to show the effects of a change in one of these other directions, such as the price of beef? One solution is to draw the demand curve and a three-dimensional diagram with the price of pork on one axis and the price of beef on the second axis and the quantity of pork on the third axis. Well, just thinking about drawing such a diagram probably makes your head hurt. Economists use a simpler approach to show how a change in a factor other than the price of a good affects its demand. A change in any factor other than the price of the good itself causes a shift of the demand curve rather than a movement along the demand curve. If the price of beef rises while the price of pork remains constant, some people will switch from buying beef to buying pork. Suppose that the price of beef rises by 60 cents from $4 per kilogram to $4.60 per kilogram, but that the price of chicken and income remain at their average levels. Using the demand function in equation 2.2, we can calculate the New York, uh, the new pork demand function relating to the quantity demanded uh, to only the price, superscript 6. It reads, substituting P sub B equals $4.60 into equation 2.2 and using the same values as before P sub C and capital Y we find that capital Q equals 171 minus 20 P plus 20 P sub B plus 3 P sub C plus 2 capital Y equals 171 minus 20 P plus open parentheses 20 minus 4.60 close parentheses plus 3 times 3 and 1 third close parentheses plus open parentheses 2 times 12.5 close parentheses equals 298 minus 20p capital Q equals 298 minus 20p that's equation 2.4. Figure 2.2 shows that the higher price of beef causes the entire pork demand curve to shift 12 units to the right from capital D superscript 1 corresponding to the demand function in equation 2.3 to capital D superscript 2 corresponding to the demand function in equation 2.4. In the figure the quantity axis starts at 176 instead of zero to emphasize the relevant uh, portion of the demand curve shifting to the demand curve figure 2.2 is a shift of the demand curve On the vertical axis, we have the price, and horizontal axis, we have the quantity in millions of kilograms of pork per year. We are given the original demand curve, capital D, superscript 1, and then uh, the demand curve shifts by having uh, to capital D. Superscript 2. At the same price level of $3.30, demand curve 1 has 220 million kilograms of pork per year demanded. And at that same price with the demand curve 2, 232 uh, million kilograms of pork per year. The demand curve for processed pork shifts to the right from capital D superscript 1 to capital D superscript 2 as the price of beef 
rises from $4 to $4.60 as a result of the increase in beef prices. More pork is demanded at any given price. Why does demand why does the demand function shift by 12 units? Using the demand function the equation 2.2, we find that the partial derivative of the quantity of pork demanded with respect to the price of beef is italics d capital Q over italics d p sub b, which equals 20. Thus, if the price of beef increases by 60 cents, the quantity of pork demanded rises by 20 times 0 0.6, which equals 12 units, holding uh, all other factors constant. To properly analyze the effects of a change in some variable on the quantity demanded, we must distinguish between a movement along a movement along a demand curve and a shift of a demand curve. A change in the price of a good causes a movement along the demand curve. A change in any other factor besides the price of the good causes a shift of the demand curve.